Hey guys, welcome back to the video. Today I'm reviewing the Nerf Infinis. Oh yeah, baby, I've got it. Um, first we'll go over the the drum. It comes with it's a thirty. I keep thinking we'll see thirty-five, thirty round drum. Um, that is the scene in the back where you where you can like, turn it and you can press it and turn it. Okay, that lights fucking just give me a couple minutes. I'm just gonna turn that off. Hopefully that's better. Yes, I'm in the living room again. I'm on my regular recording station. Um, because this guy still filled with Nerf guns. Yeah, still. Okay, anyway, um, let's head back to the drum. It does come with 30 stupid seat. Okay, gets comfortable. It comes with a 35 round drum. I mean, 30 round drum. It has nice blue rim. Like always, I don't usually go after drums, but this is, I'm pretty sure, like, you can only get it if you get infamous, I'm pretty sure, I'm not absolutely sure, it has orange, then the clear back, where you can, like, press this, like, turn it, and tell me, please tell me what this is, I just put some zombie strike darts in there, no reason, but just come with 30, I'm talking too much, 30 elite darts, um, the blue ones, um, but, um, on mine, I'm pretty sure I got, like, 31, not sure. Um, but anyway, that's basically it for the barrel has is strike elite. It's backwards, as always. It's always backwards. <laughs> backwards. Backwards. Okay. Demon, stop. But now on to the gun. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Okay, let me just move the barrel. Uh, the, the, the drum. The magazine drum thing. That's my first magazine drum, by the way. Um, the infamous. This thing's huge. Um, may not look that big on camera, but it truly is huge. Here's the attachment look. Um, first we'll start from back to front. Um, that's the battery cover right here. It takes 4D batteries, so make sure you have those before you get this. Um, you just unscrew these two pegs here. You may think it's like infinite, it just won't come out, but it actually does. You just need to pull it out. Um, you just install the batteries, that's it. Put it back on. It's simple. Stock. It's nice and comfortable. It has real sling mount, two real sling mounts. It has a bunch of sling mounts on this one. It also has this sling mount sort of thing up here. Ow. And then this sling mount right here. Um, then there's the loading port, which we'll get more into later for the automatic loading system. There's the magazine wheel. Now down to the trigger um, guard thing. The trigger pulls nice, but I can't really show you because it's this thing's not on in the battery, you know, stuff. Um, here's the rev switch. Press it to rev the blaster. Press this, press the front one to take it out, like, like the, um, I keep forgetting what it's called. Um, the other one, the one with the select fire. I keep forgetting what it's called. Um, regulator, that's it. Um, it has the same, it, it, although it seems like when you put it in, you have to push this to get magazine in as well. As nice slanted curve, thing, which I really like. I like it. It is very heavy. It was heavy before, but now it's super heavy with the batteries in it. Um, has a tactical rail up here. This is the Nerf logo right here. And in the back, you have your jam door. Just pull down. You can get out your fingers in there for any jams or malfunctions. I just did this blaster with shot this blaster a couple times and it works splendidly. The um the I keep forgetting what it's called. The sled fire thing that I was telling you about you earlier. Um um okay anyway that gun it like doesn't really work it like jams up a lot and doesn't really just want to shoot. This thing works splendidly I'm very happy. Um has another tactical rail in front so you can get double scopes. Fortunately I don't have any scopes. I only have one. Which is back here. But that's for another episode. Which I've already made. Which one to hide? Wait. I wanted to be like, I go this way and then I come back up this way. That would be funny. Anyway, back to the video. Um, nice sharp corners. It really shines out and stuff. Well, I mean, like, there's like corners cut out. There's this sign right here for something. I don't know. Um, there's this, um, front, there's a, front, the, the, this front barrel attachment lug, 
junk. Same sling mount. It's pretty nice, heavy. It's pretty good size for this. If you're expecting for a small blaster, then you're not getting a small blaster. I'm gonna just raise this up a bit. Sorry. Oops. Press the wrong button. Now to load it. Shut it, basically. There's no prime to prime it, but you just push it in. But it doesn't want to open oh, it starting. So you just press the release, then you're able to put it in, you'll hear a sound. And then the screen light turn. Wait, what? It's showing up red on camera. Well, you know it's flashing yellow, but on camera it's like turning red. But anyway, this is flashing yellow or green, and that means it is fully loaded, I think. No, now it's green, it's green, it's green now. You just need to rev it. So you can hear it rev. Pretty loud. It fires nicely. Um, it does fire, it can stand up on its own with it in, like this, although it's very out of angle and it's kind of wobbly. It'll fall over at any second. Um, can put some attachments on. Um, let me just give you a couple minutes. Yeah, this is gonna be a long video, not really. Um, I've got two attachments that I can show you that they put on. You may recognize these. This and this. Oh, by the way, if you all of a sudden saw these and you know what they're from, no spoilers. I mean, they're spoilers. But never mind. Sorry. But you can just slide it on like here or like here and have this. Or you can take the barrel attachment thingy and put it on. Ow, that hurt. This thing's killing me. Just hold it. But anyway, you can fire it. Okay, what should I shoot it at? Um, I'm not sure what I want to shoot it at. Um, should I try firing test? Um, try to think if I try to shoot it. I, yeah, I think I'll try. Okay. Um, give me a couple minutes. Yeah, I always have to give. I always have to. Just let me move the camera. It's sort of a vlog at the same time, but it's not a vlog. Okay. Okay, we'll set the camera up here. Flop it, flip it, flip, fl oh, oh, that's really bad. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that well. And I'm gonna be trying to shoot that, just the wall. What's up? Yeah, hey. Vlog time. Oh, oh, stop. Give you back over. Back to regular vlog setup. I won't vlog, let me just grab a gun. Here's the infidus. And now for the main feature. I'm green. I've turned green. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um. But then you're like, no. There's more. Yeah, that's right. You're like, oh no, I ran out of ammo. I have a bunch of bullets here. But what am I supposed to do? I scored to forever to take him out. That's why this gun is helping you. Instead of trying to take it out when you're on the run, that's what this is for. Listen to what happens when I press this little button right here. And look what happens when I put a dart in. That's right, it automatically loads. Um, so if I just look at it now, it's only that way full. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna jump cut or anything because I don't know how to do that because I'm a noob. 
the editing. I don't know how to edit. All my videos are not edited because I don't really do. So I'm just going to put these in. Good jam, people. If it doesn't go through, just put another one in. It usually just pushes it and helps it. Oh, see, it didn't work. So I just put another one in. And it works. And, and that noise bothers me. Like the noise, I feel like I'm going to break it. I don't think I am. Am I? If you have this gun, tell me if I'm breaking it or not. I really went on to break my gun. Okay, wait. Oh. Oh. And look, now it's turning. It's flashing yellow right now. That means it's telling you don't shove any more darts in or you're going to break the thing. Please let me just grab another dart. Sorry that I keep leaving the station. Um, but anyway, if I try and shove another dart in, it won't go. P.S. It's like, you're going to break the thing if you don't listen to it. But I've tried with a different magazine, and it's programmed to only be 30. Oh, by the way, to prove that it's actually loaded, look at it now. Um, but anyway, um, I've tried playing another magazine in like a 12 round. And it wanted to keep going because I'm pretty sure it's programmed to only be a 30 round thing. So if you put in other ones, you have to you have to count in your head or just count out loud how many darts you have in. Otherwise, you'll overload it and you'll start to like jam it and you'll break it. I've tried that and it will not. It doesn't tell me to stop. My dog Rufus just got out. Um, puppy, come here. Come here, bud. Oh. Just went to my office. Want me to show you? Maybe I'll do a video right after this, showing you the dog. Oh yeah, I can do that. Do oh, by the way, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, so that way you never miss another video. And press that notification bell, so that way, so that way you'll always get notified whenever I post. Um, it's still flashing. But if you're wondering, how do you get it to stop flashing? Just rev it. Just rev it a little. It turns it back to green. And if you're like, how am I going to save my battery? Bam, that's how. It automatically turns it off. Um, so basically, that's the review. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. This is a 12 minute video. It's usually longer than usual because of the gimmick. There's my mom, just walked by. Mom, you're on camera. Just up for a couple seconds. Anyway, hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, like I said before, and subscribe. So that way you know, so that way you're increasing my channel right now. Right now I'm at like four subscribers or something, something like that. Um, and, um, and a couple of my videos are liked. And I just realized that a couple days ago. And I was like, oh my god, my channel is finally growing. And hopefully this continues and my channel grows to be really big. So, the Speed Droid, signing off. Mm -hmm.